today I took delivery of a new sewing machine. As you can see, it's the Brother Innovis XV. Uh, as you'll see, uh, it, it is in two quite large boxes. And um, these were contained in an outer box as well. So as you can see there, that's the embroidery unit. And this bottom box must therefore be um, the sewing machine itself. I'll set the camera up and uh, record the unboxing. OK, so here's the main box. Just take a knife and release the, the tape. Um, and we'll see what's in here. Let's have a look. Open up. OK, just a, a piece of packaging there. Just nothing spectacular. Um, on top here, um, that's, uh, that looks like the, the cover. Nicely packaged. Just put that to one side. Oh. Ah, more tape. Just to get my knife. Um, gently cut through that around the outside to release it. Um, two more. One and two. And uh, we'll see what's what's under here. Piece of packaging. So under here. Um, we have um, the scanning mat, or the scanning frame I should say, um, which um, we will we'll demonstrate at some point. Um, so, that's, so that's that, I'll put that to one side. <coughs> ah, the important uh, user guide, so here we have the user guide, um, it's quite a, a thick book there. Um, what else do we have? Um, we also have the thread stand. So um, that also comes with um, obviously the, the, the guide itself and the, the bag of tricks, so the spool holders and, and the rest of it. So I'll put that to one side. And the uh, knee lift. So that's in there. Uh, what else? Ah, this is the uh, the sensor pen that uh, that comes along with with the machine. And in here we have the the dual feed foot and the couching foot that the dual feed couching foot that goes along with that. So those two. Um, what else do we have? Here we have the um, the foot controller, um, nicely packaged, and the USB cable uh, and the and the power lead. And also in here, um, this rather large box, um, I suspect, contains all the feet and accoutrement. So that looks like that's, that's empty, so I'll put that one to one side. Right, so in here now, um, you won't be able to see from here, there's more polystyrene. Um, so this is obviously uh, the, the main machine in here. So again, I'll remove the packaging that to one side. Uh, just poke those out. Ah, so in here there is the accessory compartment that fits on the end of the free arm in the on the sewing machine. So I'll just put that to one side for a second um, and take my knife to release it from the packaging. And we'll have a look at that. There we have it. That is, as I said, that's the the uh, accessory box that fits on the machine. Put that to one side and move the packaging to one side. So um, what we have now is the same machine itself. So let's have a look at that. Oh, quite a weight. 
Oh, I've just put that on the floor. Um, that's the box emptied, so I'll put this um, packaging back together. Okay, I've now moved the um, machine onto my table and um, as you can see it's in its packaging. Um, I removed the polythene from over the top and as you can see there's a uh, the large screen here uh, and uh, the same machine bed uh, and so on. So I'll need to remove these uh, the usual um, blue strips um, of packaging. Let's uh, move these from this table. I'll just put those to one side. Um, remove this protective fleece that's that's sitting on there. Um, there we go. Just move that to one side. I'll deal with that uh, later. And the remainder. So there's quite a few of these, as, as ever, with these things, protecting things. Uh, you need to make sure that you remove all of them. Not quite sure. That seems to be sitting underneath the, the cover, so I shall remove that shortly. Uh, put this one here. Another one here. Oh, it's quite exciting. Any more on the side, around the back? Perhaps. Um, ah, there's one here um, that's protecting the uh, needle threader. And it goes all the way around the back. Um, this one under here. Where's that? Ah, that's protecting the magnet. The magnetic closure and let's close that down. Um, I will leave that one there for the moment because oh no I can lift it there's a manual um, a manual lever under here to, uh, to lift the, the presser foot and I can now um, remove this final one here. There we go. It's uh, on there and I think that is just about it. Um, just check round the back, round the sides. So there we have the uh, basic machine that's uh, unboxed. What I will need to do now is uh, to put together the main components and um, then switch it on. So I'll just uh, get hold of the main box here. Uh, take this out of its wrapping. Uh, I'll just put that to one side and remove again more packaging as you'll see there's this there's even more of this of this because this uh, lid opens obviously as this one does this these accessory compartments although with the XV you get the separate uh, separate box but you can uh, move the trays around so this attaches as you'd expect there we go onto onto the bed and and uh, there she is okay so i've now uh, plugged the machine in and uh, i'll switch switch it on for the first time and we'll see how we get on so here it is booting up the lights are on and music is playing.
Ah, so it's just repeating itself. So if I touch the screen, I'm assuming it will stop. There we go. Ah, it's asking me to uh, do the setup. So uh, I'll choose English. Um, it's asking me to set the clock. Um, I'll do that some other time. And there we go. Looks like the machine's set up. So we're in the home screen and you have sewing, embroidery and something called My Design Centre. More of that later. So there you are, out of the box, unpacked, on the desk and, and switched on for the first time. So I'll carry on uh, setting up and rejoin you once I've connected all of the, the various elements, uh, got some fabric out and some thread and uh, we can have uh, a look to see how it sews. Okay, so I've now set up uh, the machine. Um, I've threaded, uh, threaded it up uh, with a, a bobbin and uh, the top thread, and I've just switched on uh, from the from the home screen. Uh, you can select sewing, embroidering, or my design center. It comes with a, a little stylus. Uh, to save you having to touch the screen, so I'll touch sewing and the straight stitch with the needle position at the left is what comes on as default. I'll just press the button and raise the presser foot. Um, as I, all I've done is threaded it up, I've no idea uh, what it's going to be like. Um, so I've got a piece of fabric, um, lower the presser foot and um, see how we get on. I've put the um, foot controller in, so I'll control the speed myself, um, put that on there and uh, let's see how it goes. It's on at the very slowest speed so let's just raise it. Nice and quiet. The end, press a foot, pivot round, and see how we get on. Press a foot, let's change to a different stitch. Let's try, um, let's try a simple zigzag, let's see how we get on. Perhaps raise the speed. So there we go. Press the scissors. Press a foot and there we go. Um, just move it uh, to the camera to the right uh, area. So good even stitch. Um, front looks as good as the back or the back looks as good as the front um, and there we are. Um, simple as that.